all right guys it's nice bright and early here let's go ahead and start the video guys today's video is how to create a minecraft forge server in literally under five minutes let's go ahead and do this so the first thing you're gonna do is click on the first link in the description you're gonna scroll down if you have windows right here you're gonna have to download this this is java 16 you need to install this if you're doing minecraft uh versions up to 1.17 so any version upwards to 1.17 you do need to install java 16 they have the mac right here as well okay guys so once you've installed this download it right here and then you install it the second thing we're gonna do now is actually come here now this is for the minecraft server version of 1.17.1 okay guys so what you're gonna do is click on the second link in the description all right everybody and then what we're gonna do is click on the minecraft underscore server 1.17.1 jar and once you click this it'll actually download it and it'll look something like this all right now if yours doesn't say server that's completely fine just rename it to server and then go ahead and drag it into your minecraft server folder all right now now that we have that what we need to do is download forge as well this is going to be for minecraft 4.17.1 forge click on the third link in the description you're going to click on installer right here okay and then it's going to download and you're going to get something like this all right now one last thing is if you guys want to download 1.17.1 mods just come on this website go here go to game version 1.17.1 and then it'll show you a bunch of mods for 1.17.1 last thing we need to do is come back to the minecraft.net here you're gonna highlight this and you're gonna copy this all right guys so now i have just not enough items mod just to give you guys an example we have our forge downloaded and we just dragged our server into here okay so what we're going to go ahead and do is make sure that you actually uh have installed forge to your client so if you haven't done that already make sure you open up forge and then click on install client okay make sure you have it installed to your client so now what we're going to do is we're going to right click in our new folder here in minecraft server we're going to go to new text document okay we're going to open this up and we're going to click Control v like the, the line we copied and pasted from the minecraft.net okay now we're gonna add two gigabytes which is 2048 so get rid of the 1024 and just put 2048 all right so now that we added two gigabytes guys i have an eight gigabyte computer so you can add three gigabytes if you have eight gigabytes i would only recommend you max put four okay gigabytes don't add too much because it won't run the server all right if you add too much gigabytes it will not work it'll tell you that you devoted too much ram so Next thing we have to do here is get rid of the Minecraft underscore and the 1.17.1. Because if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that this command right here is just to run this server, okay? So we need to make sure that it says server.jar, the exact same thing as this one. The last thing we're going to do here is we're going to come under here and we're going to type in pause, all right, guys? And now we're going to go to file, save as, all files. We're going to name this to run dot bat and then click save all right so now we created the run.bat we can go ahead and get rid of the new text document and let's go ahead and run the server really quick okay so double click on the run it's gonna ask you to accept the ula okay exit out go to ula right here and then change this to true click save and then rerun the server now while that's doing that guys what i would recommend we do really quickly is that we're actually going to add this mod to our mods folder in our client okay because you have to remember whatever mod we install on the server we have to install it to the client okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to come down to the search right here at the bottom left or bottom right or bottom left yeah and then we're going to type in run and then right here we're going to type in percent app data percent and then click okay and then click on your dot minecraft and then go to your mods folder okay so you're only gonna have this mod it or this mods folder if you've actually um installed forge to your client okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our mod we're gonna install it to our server we're gonna right click it copy it and then we're gonna paste it into our actual um mods folder right here for our client okay so now we have just not enough items installed in our client so now our server is done we can go ahead and type in stop but if you guys want to know how to pour forward i'm going to leave two links in the description there's two videos on how to pour forward i made so now what we need to do guys is install forge to our server so let's oh, double click forge here let's click on install server right here and then we're going to click on these three little dots 
and my ser my Minecraft server folder is on my desktop. So I'm going to click desktop, open up my Minecraft server, click open, and then OK. And now we're just going to give this a few seconds and it's going to start creating some folders in here. All right, guys. All right, so now it's successfully downloaded and we're all good to go. Click OK. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is double click run on the server here. And now, as you can see, it's actually going ahead and creating the mods folder. All right, guys. So once we clicked run, it went ahead and launched up the server. But you guys might ask yourself, well, where is the forge server? Like, how, how am I running forge? Well, guys, once you actually install it now from Minecraft 1.17.1 and up, once you actually install um, the, once you install it to your actual Minecraft server, all you have to do is click run before you would actually have to edit the server you would have to edit the run.bat to run a specific file but now you don't because now we have the user this right here right and this as well so what happens is now it gives us our forge server so if we go ahead and type stop which is really cool because now all you have to do is click install and to the server folder and that's it and then now you have forge installed so what we have to do is open our mods here. We're going to drag in our JEE -E mod. Okay. And yeah, guys, that's basically how you install it, right? So now if we go ahead and run the server again, you're going to see that it reads the Java uh, uh, GVM, this right here, right? The args. And it's going to read that. And then now it automatically knows that there's Java or uh, Java Forge installed, right? Look at that. It's launching up Forge. Guys, this is so much easier than before. Before we had to edit this run.bat, get rid of this server file, run the new Forge server file. But now, all you have to do is click run, and that's it. Your Forge will run, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and launch up in the game, all right, guys? And I'll see you guys in the game. All right, guys, so we are now in the game. Let's go ahead and see if this works. So let's go to our multiplayer. We're going to join locally. Again, if you want your friends to join, you're going to have to search up what's my IP on Google and send them your IP, but you need to port for your IPv4 address first. If you haven't done that, just go and link in the description, go check it out, it'll bring you directly to how to port forward a video or a server. And as you can see, it did work here, so let's go ahead and join. And of course, if you want to join locally, you just have to type in zero, and then it should join your local network. Beautiful. So we are now in the beautiful Minecraft server that we just created. And as you guys can see, we have just not enough items here installed, and the mod is working perfectly fine. As you can see, everything is all good. We know how to craft everything. The mod's working perfectly fine. And we are currently in our server. So, guys, that's how you make a Minecraft Forge server. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, of course, make sure to give it a like. I tried making it as quick and simple for you guys. And you know what? With the new update, it's a lot easier now to create a modded server. Just because once you install the Forge, all you simply have to do is literally click run on your server again. And it will automatically run Java, which is absolutely amazing. So, you don't have to edit it or anything anymore. You could just install, run, add your mods, and that's it, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, obviously make sure to give it a like, guys. It really helps out a lot. Thank you guys so much for all the support lately. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Adios, guys.